Hi guys, it's Allison from Drumheller Farms. Uh, welcome to another episode here, Parma, Michigan, getting ready to go do some evening chores. What do you got there you're leaning on? Uh, these are tote sacks, chicken grower. What are you going to do with them? We're going to grow some chickens Heck out yeah. on pasture. Heck yeah. Let's get it. So yesterday I went out and looks like we already need to replace some of these minerals. So I needed some CL. We need some P. There's one that's labeled P. What they're going on. What you got going on there? Oh, just checking things out. What? This picture needs going to processing. Full of chickens? Mm -hmm. Man, I'll tell you what, I am sick of unrolling hay. <laughs> Jeez, oh beats. I mean, I'm thankful for the benefits that it's doing to the land, but I'm ready to get on pasture. I can't wait to have a stool in my hands. <laughs> Start moving cows every 12 hours again. That's, you know, when you back up to it just perfectly right there. This is the Greg Judy bale unroller. And this bale is a little bit rotten on the bottom, so let's get that out of the way right now. a piece of uh, tillage equipment. <laughs> they are getting ready to till over there. Oh man, every time I go by it makes me sick. I'm trying to figure out why we have to have the heat on. Second week of April. It's ridiculous. You never know what you're going to get in Michigan. This field's looking good. We left some residue in this field. Meaning we probably could have went back and grazed it one or two more times, but we actually left it. And you can see it's the first one of the first fields. All the fields we done that with, it's they're popping up real quick, and those will be the first ones we go back and hit in the spring. I mean, if you look at this, you know that field's looking real nice. But kind of like you leave a little in the fall but you don't feed hay on it so it's give and take I guess gate gal take my job very seriously couple days and they really just hammered that thing that's where the first day it was it's the worst this is about the third day right here 
and then the fourth day is out there past where they bale grazed. So they're really spending some time on it. Well, yeah, that's why I want to cover that thing with <laughs> hay. Mm -hmm. That bare ground. That, not good to have bare soil. Basically, I just want to spread some of this hay out on top of it. So that the ground's covered and then <clears throat> the animals will come in here and push this right down into the soil. And basically, look at all that seed right there. That's just in one handful. I mean, looks like orchard grass right there. I mean, there's all kinds of good stuff in there. I mean, it's also interesting that they are spending a lot more time at the mineral feeder, period. I mean, if there's that much more traffic on it. Yeah, there's 20 different things they have to choose from. No. Yeah. She likes to get scratches like her mama did. <laughs> so you can see where that bare soil was. And I took a bale, part of what come off that, and just kind of spreading it around here. I mean, like I said, the amount of seeds that are in one head of this, or one handful of this, is just amazing. I mean, the cows are gonna come in here and they're gonna eat a bunch of it. And they're gonna stomp a bunch of it in the ground. And they're basically gonna reseed, you know, all the areas that they kind of punched up. got this little clip here. Nice design. So the K and the P. A little bit more now. But hey. We'll make a <laughs> note for tomorrow then. Stay out of the gator. They got all kinds of them hammered here, which it's kind of crazy because it's almost like you got to take a daily inventory at this point because they're really hammering each one, you know? <clears throat> it's really okay. nice, that clip right there. You just fold it over and you'll be able to do the other side. Uh, and then P. P's empty. What is P? Well, that's so nice that you ask because inside here, there's another slip they provide. Phosphorus. I mean, this, these guys got it figured out, you know? They send you a product that's labeled on the outside, labeled on the inside. They had it figured out in the way that they stacked the pallet. Even they knew the order that I, we would lay in. I mean, it just, they got it figured out. Going back to what we've talked about in previous videos, the cow being an 80% inefficient Whoops. animal. <laughs> yeah, right there, what you just stepped in. Theoretically, if the animal's eating all that, 80, you know, there should be all kinds of minerals in there, getting back into the ground, giving, giving it what it needs right through the animal. Peace and joy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. God bless. <laughs>